I'm Simon Birkenhead and I'm the Chief Executive of a company called International Volunteer HQ. Uh, we are the world's largest volunteering abroad organisation and we help people to go overseas to volunteer for good causes that they care about and also have a bit of a holiday at the same time. We personally don't like the term voluntourism to describe what we do because it puts an emphasis on tourism and less about the volunteering. And for us, if you volunteer with IVHQ, you'll be volunteering for four or five or six hours a day for five days a week. You know, the, the majority of the time is volunteering. Yes, there's some tourism activity and yes, you can explore the environment and the location around where you are volunteering, but the emphasis is still on that giving back, making a difference. We use the term regenerative travel to describe travel where you leave the place in a better state than when you arrive. And volunteering abroad is a great way to do that because you go there and you contribute your skills, your knowledge, your experience to make communities, make wildlife, make the environment better than it was when you arrived. And, and for us, it's, that's the most important thing about what we do. We're slightly unusual because we are a New Zealand business that actually has very little business in New Zealand. Most of our volunteers come from the United States or from Europe. We do have volunteering projects in New Zealand, however, so for people who are based here, they can volunteer on projects. We have a number of conservation projects and beach cleanup projects in New Zealand here in Auckland that you can participate on. So we run about 300 different volunteering projects. Uh, our most popular programs are childcare and teaching, very, very popular with sort of younger demographics. We've also got a lot of uh, wildlife conservation and environmental conservation programs like turtle conservation, an awesome wolf conservation project in Portugal and then for older volunteers uh, they tend to prefer projects like construction and renovation or community development like um, helping the homeless and helping with women's empowerment things like that. It's also about the impact that it has on the individuals themselves and a lot of people find that they discover themselves through these volunteering projects and they develop a more worldly view of life and, and the, the cultural immersion gives them a different perspective of the world around them. So the kind of experiences that volunteers can expect to get out of our volunteering programs really depends on the projects that they undertake. So if you're uh, involved in childcare or teaching, obviously it's about developing your skills at working with children. If you're doing construction innovation, you may learn new skills around painting, renovation, construction. But it's also about the interpersonal skills that you develop by working with people who are perhaps less fortunate than you or a bit more vulnerable. And that's where our volunteers say they get the most impact, is actually working with people who give as much back to them as the volunteers give to the community.